What's up guys, my name is Brandon and man, it feels great to be back making YouTube video. So I've been extremely sick for the past week or so. If you guys are following me on Twitter, you already know about all that. You've seen the photos, you've seen the updates and all that stuff. But if you're not following me on Twitter, basically I've been sick for the past week. I will have a segment at the end of this video where I go into detail about everything. But I just wanna let you guys know that I didn't just leave you guys you know, hanging. I didn't just not wanna make videos. I wanted to make videos, I just didn't have the strength to, I just didn't have the motivation to at all. Um, so I will talk about that, like I said, at the end of this video. But in this video, I wanna talk about a few different subjects since I've been away from YouTube for a little bit. So of course, the first thing I wanna talk about is iOS 12.1.1 and when the final version of that will get released. I also wanna talk about iOS 12.0.1 and the potential for an iOS 12 jailbreak. And then like I mentioned at the end of this video, I will talk a little bit more in depth about what's been going on with my health lately. So iOS 12.1.1 has been on beta three for over two weeks now. So if we go into our settings general about, this is the bill number ending with 5050A. This is beta three, and again, we've been on this for over two weeks now. I can't really see there being another beta. I can't really see there being a fourth beta for such a minor update. I mean, anything is really possible with Apple these days, but I'd imagine that we're gonna go just straight to the final release after beta three, and that's probably gonna be next week, the week of December 3rd. And I did make videos on these betas, but just as a refresher, iOS 12.1.1 is gonna bring some much needed bug fixes and stability to all iPhones. We do also have the new FaceTime UI where we have the flip camera and now in the proper spot. So if you guys remember in iOS 12.1 on FaceTime, you would actually have to go into a menu. You'd have to click on these three dots, go into a menu, and then you'd be able to flip your camera for FaceTime. But now there's that whole new UI, which is much nicer and it's a lot easier to flip the camera on FaceTime. So that is the biggest change in iOS 12.1.1 aside from the bug fixes and stability. And of course, I'm sure there are a lot of backend security enhancements as well, which we will get to see once the final version does get released. And I just wanna say that iOS 12.1.1 beta three, really all the betas have been pretty great for me. I mean, they've been better than the 12.1 betas. Battery life and performance seems about the same as 12.1. I know a lot of people said that 12.1.1 did enhance the performance of their device. And I believe those people because it is a lot of people. But for me personally, it feels pretty much the same. I mean, maybe some of the animations are faster. Maybe it's a little bit smoother, but as far as just raw performance, it feels about the same as 12.1 to me. But perhaps my favorite thing besides the FaceTime flip camera feature is that I have not had any Wi-Fi issues at all while using 12.1.1, any of the betas, beta one through three, I have not dropped my Wi-Fi one time like I did with iOS 12.1 on my iPhone 10R and my 10S here. Now, originally the reason that I thought it was taking so long for Apple to release iOS 12.1 1.1 to the public is because I thought they were just really trying to patch everything up so there weren't any major bugs, meant trying to make sure there wasn't another issue with the Wi-Fi and the cellular connectivity. But now I'm actually thinking that they're waiting on Verizon to roll out the dual SIM support, which is gonna be in early December. And of course, early December is just next week. So it makes sense if Apple wanted to wait and just make sure that everything works fine on 12.1.1 and with Verizon rolling it out. I mean, it's kind of a coincidence with the timing, but I think it's very possible that Apple is waiting on this dual SIM support to be added to Verizon before they release 12.1.1 to the masses. Now, as for iOS 12.0.1, it actually just stopped being signed as of yesterday. So if we go over here and go to our OTA firmwares, you can see that iOS 12.1 and 12.1.1 are the only versions you can downgrade to. So you can no longer downgrade to iOS 12.0.1. So I hope you guys did get there if you are planning to jailbreak. And I hope you guys saved your blobs for 12.0.1 as well. I did make multiple jailbreak update videos telling you guys to get to 12.0.1 or just stay on the lower version if you are on 12.0. So I hope you guys did listen and are sitting there waiting for that jailbreak. So yeah, I'll go more into depth about that in a future video. So yeah, that's everything Apple related that I wanted to talk about in this video. Now I just wanted to quickly talk about where I've been for the past week and my sickness and if I'm feeling better, all that good stuff. So basically, yes, I did get extremely sick. I felt it coming on. I'm the type of person that really never gets sick. The last time I actually had a prescription filled was eight years ago. So that's that should give you some insight as to how rare it is that I actually get sick. So when I do get sick, it tends to be pretty bad. And this time I could feel myself getting sick three days before I actually started getting sick and started actually feeling the severe symptoms of being sick. So I could feel my throat, you know, kind of hurting a little bit for the first three days. But then on the fourth day, my tonsils got extremely large. They were swollen. It felt like I was just swallowing and I couldn't fully swallow it. It felt like I was swallowing something or something was stuck in my throat. So the morning that I woke up with that was actually Thanksgiving morning. So this was on Thanksgiving when I woke up feeling extremely sick. So I took some ibuprofen just to kind of shrink 
shrink my tonsils so they weren't so enlarged. And the next day on Friday, I went to urgent care and basically they did a swab test on me, said I was negative, but still gave me penicillin because I still thought it was a certain type of strep. Well, I took the penicillin for three days and it made everything pretty much worse. It really did not help me at all. And some days it actually felt worse. I couldn't really swallow. I couldn't breathe very well. I could, the not breathing well actually didn't happen until the final day when I had to go to the ER. But basically I had a lot of trouble swallowing. It was excruciating pain, probably the worst pain I've ever felt in my life when I was swallowing. And you know, I'm pretty pain tolerant as it is. So it was very, very bad. It was very hard to chew things. It was very hard to eat things. It, it just hurt so bad that I didn't even want to eat during the day. Then again, I didn't really have an appetite anyways. And I had a headache and everything as well. So it's pretty bad. So once I realized that the penicillin that the doctor prescribed me wasn't working, I went back to the urgent care and had a different doctor look at me. And at this point, I have these white spots in the back of my tonsils, like all over my tonsils, there's these white patches in the back of my throat. It's basically just like a huge infection in the back of my throat. So when I went to urgent care again and saw a different doctor, she basically said, yeah, you need to go to the ER. There's nothing we can do here. You need, you know, steroids, you need uh, to be hooked up to an IV, all this stuff. So basically they referred me to the ER. So I had to go to the hospital. Once I got to the hospital, they did a ton of blood work. They filled up a ton of tubes of blood, put me on an IV, gave me a steroid, put this stuff in my throat. Uh, I had to go do a CAT scan on my neck, which basically is just like an x-ray. They can see all the way down my throat. They can see inside my body and see if where the infection goes and how far down my neck it goes and things like that. So basically they concluded that I did not have abscess, which if I would have had abscess in the back of my throat, that would have meant that I would have had to get my tonsils removed in surgery probably that day. But luckily that wasn't the case. It just happened to be a severe case of tonsillitis. So yeah, once that steroid got in my system and once they put me on this new antibiotic, I felt a lot better. Pretty much after day one, I felt so much better than I had the past week. So yeah, I'm very thankful that that did work out in the end. I mean, it was a pain, especially since I got prescribed something and it didn't help. I had to go through three days of just that excruciating pain without any kind of relief. It was really bad. And it basically just took until I got to the ER. And basically what the person at urgent care told me was that my tonsils could have just enlarged so much and swollen up so much that it could have blocked my passageway and I could have actually died in my sleep. You know, if I wouldn't have gone to urgent care that day, it's very possible I could have got so large, I could have just completely blocked my passageway, which would have been terrible. But yeah, I just wanted to explain to you guys really quickly why I wasn't making videos. It wasn't because I didn't want to. It's because I was extremely sick. I needed the time off to focus on my health. I didn't really need to be overworking myself and hurting my body even more. So hope you guys do understand. I really hope this doesn't happen again. It's extremely rare, like I said, for me to get sick, so I don't plan on it happening again. But yeah, I just wanted to give you guys an explanation real quick as well. So. Hope you did enjoy this video guys and uh, I will see you guys very, very soon. Probably tomorrow I'll make a video as well, as well as on Friday. And then of course, back to the normal weekdays, the normal pretty much every day of the week upload starting next week. So yeah, thanks again for watching guys and I'll see you soon.